Hello! Okay, so this is my tabletop setup. I recognize it's kind of a fish eye. That's just the camera that I ended up getting. I don't know. It's a webcam. It's basically, I have a better camera. I just um, can't connect it as a webcam. So we can't use that. But uh, yeah, let me know if anything else about the video or the audio is weird. In the meantime, this is Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, which is a tiny epic game. Have the rule book here so you can see the really cool art. All sorts of dinos. So tiny epic games are tiny because they are small. They come in a very small box. And uh epic because they are still really deeply strategic. So I I, I played through a couple times. I know it says first playthrough. It's my first playthrough on stream effectively. But yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, it, it, it's, it does take up quite a bit of table space, but this is still not that bad as far as table space goes, and it's a really, really fun game. I'm going to be playing the solo mode, and I will kind of go through it as things go along, but I will explain the different components now um, to just kind of make it clear what's happening. So these are contract cards, which you can get for points in the corner up there. These are uh, research cards, which are either special dinosaurs, unique dinosaurs, which are these purple guys. Each one is the specific shape of that dinosaur. Um, and other abilities, and also they come with victory points. We have the round thing, which has what round it is. It can go up to a max of six. The different phases as a reference. Medical leave, which is where you go when you get wounded hunting for dinos. Um, the action spaces, which are all the different places you can put your workers, because it is a worker placement game. Uh, your ranch, this one's mine. And your player mat, which is also mine. Your various little resource markers, which is uh, meat, vegetation, supply. And we keep these off the board until we get them to show. So I have one leaf, because I'm going to be second player. Second player gets one one leaf to start. Um, we also have the private contract card, which would normally be face down in a multiplayer game, but for the sake of the stream, I'm going to have it face up so that you guys can see what I'm going for. And then we have the rival rancher, which is one of the player mats flipped over, and they will put their dinos there, and this will tell me what it is they do. They start out as the first player with the first player marker, and they use this deck of cards to show us what they do. I'm going to be doing them a little different for the sake of visuals, whatever. Uh, there's also a deck of research cards up here, a deck of public and private contracts up here. They're out of frame just because it looks a little nicer. Um, and out of frame, we also got all the dinos. A bunch of different dinos. Allosaurus, Velociraptor, you know, and these barriers. So I'm keeping those to the side. I don't have any better way to really store them. As of yet, um, okay, so how this game works is first we go through each round through the phases. So first phase, resource collection, everything visible on your mat you get. So you always start out the game with an empty ranch, you get five leaf, which brings me up to six, you get three meat, and you get one supply. Yeah, hair there, sorry. Then we go to assign ranchers, which is when you take most of your action. So since the rival rancher is first, we will do the rival rancher first. I'm going to shuffle the rival rancher deck. It has eight cards in it. Each one has a different dinosaur type, and depending on when it is drawn, it will change what they do. So that's good and shuffled. We deal out four cards like so and then we pick one at random I'm gonna go with the second one that is a so I will put a meeple on a you're supposed to put the card up but I don't have space in this setup so just gonna put it here put that there then because there's nothing here and it is empty they get one stegosaurus which goes in this stegosaurus space and then we check, can they fulfill any contracts? Well, they only have one dinosaur, so no, they can't. So we move on to my turn. So now I get a pick an action to do. 
So what I'm aiming for is to fulfill a public contract and then a private contract. You've got to fulfill a public one and a private one at the same time. So I need a park that has these four plus the stuff up here. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for this one. So I'm going to try and get a couple of stegosaurus so that I can breed them and get more. So let's go with that. I'm going to hmm. So I could either go for Dino Market, which is safe and costs one supply, or I could go to Free Range Dinos, at which point I roll the die. I'm going to go for Free Range Dinos for a Stegosaurus. So what you do is you take it, you put it in your holding area right here, then you roll the die. Net. So net means that nothing happens. Worked out perfectly. So I just keep him there for now. Then it is the Rival Rancher again. We'll go with the fourth card. B. So we put a meeple on B to show that that's where they were at. And then, because nobody was there, they get a Velociraptor. Goes there. Still only two. Can't do any contracts, so still good on that. Now it's my turn again. Uh, gosh, I really want another Stegosaurus. But you know what I could go for instead... Actually, before it gets too expensive, because while they're here, I have to use more workers, I'm going to go for some barriers, because I'm going to need to keep my dinos in. So, it costs me one supply, and I get two barriers into my holding area that I can place later. All right, and let me see my holding area. Okay, I'm going to want at least one more barrier. I'm going to close it off like this. Yeah, because I don't want to cover up supply yet. It's good to have plenty of supply in the beginning of the game. In the meantime, it's Ralph Rancher's turn. Let's go with the third card. A again. So, goes up to A, and because there's my meeple and their own meeple there, they actually get to do the Allosaurus action, which in this case is two supply and two of the meat. So, those go up, and that is their turn. Now it's my turn again. Yeah, I'm going to get, well, I could either go for an Allosaurus, which would be helpful, but then I'd have to use both of my guys here, because if you want to place it where there already is a meeple, so if, say, I was playing this with someone else and they were placing him here, and they had a guy like here, I could still do that, but I have to place one more meeple than they have on there, so I'd have to place two. This lead rancher with the hat. He is worth two, so I could do that. But, in this case, he has two there, and that covers the entire card for the rival rancher. So I have to put three, which means I'd have to put my lead rancher and my regular rancher, and basically have that be the end of my turn. Is it better to have a barrier, or that? Hmm... I could really use something... You know what? I'm going to go for this to get two supply, because supply, like I said, pretty useful in the early game I've found. And then, Rival Rancher's last turn, B goes there. It's not empty, so he gets to do the Stegosaurus action, since we already have one covered. It's the second one here, so he gets three meat, bumping up to five, and one supply, that's three. He doesn't spend supply the way I do. Um, basically, if he gets to the top, then he gets one of these max actions that gets him a bunch of extra stuff. All right, now let's see. <sighs> what do I want to do for my last action here? Hmm. I want to. I want to double check something real quick in the rules. Hold on. You know, it doesn't say, but uh, my question was, do I have to use all of my barriers? It doesn't specifically say, so I'm going to presume I don't have to. So I'm going to say, I'm going to save one, and I'll get that one right here. 
so I can have a third barrier for later. So let's do that. Tuck that in. And that is the end. So now we go to phase three, retrieve ranchers. You just take all your guys back. I got all those guys. These are theirs. And for the solo mode, I always just take this opportunity to flop that back on the deck. I'm going to shuffle it before the next turn. Then we arrange ranch. So you put your dinos out into your ranch. Which I'm going to go with this. So that I don't have to block any of my stuff. So I have my Stegosaurus right in there. He's blocked in by the barriers. This permanent barrier, the water, and the mountains. He is locked in. All right, so arrange, then feed. So this Stegosaurus, as it shows here, eats one leaf. So we just move that down, and we're good. If I couldn't feed them, they would escape, but we'll probably get into that later because it definitely happens. Oh, excuse me. Gotta stay hydrated. Okay, so then we go to breed dinosaurs. So if I had two Stegosaurus, I'd get a third, but I only have the one right now. So that's fine. Then we refresh for next round. So we go up here, discard any research cards, and deal them out into a new row. And see, we have the Dilophosaurus, if anybody gets that. In fact, I won't bother digging through unless, unless I get it. Um, and then if we had less than the number of players, plus one, which is three, then we would refill this, but we already have that, so we don't have to touch it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Pika. It is Stegosauri. Anything that ends with is would be I. I appreciate the correct... I appreciate the correction. I'm used to pointing to my laptop's webcam. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate that. So we refreshed and we moved the round marker down one. I, I love this little round marker. This little mug that says I heart dinos. Let's see if I can. Doesn't want to focus. Yeah, whatever. It's cute. I like it a lot. So now we start over again. So I didn't cover up any of this. So I get all of those resources again. So that's five leaf, and three meat, and a supply. Then we assign ranchers. So rival rancher is still the first. So we are going to shuffle that up, and then add it in. I mean, yeah, the language is weird and slang and mistakes can get folded into a language eventually with enough use. As long as people understand what you're saying, it like doesn't matter, really. All right, one more. All right, and then we deal these out in a row again. And we're gonna start with third one, B. So it goes up there. It's empty, so he gets a Velociraptor right there. Then it's my turn. I really need some more Stegosaurus, but I also need the Allosaurus. I'm going to... Mm, if I go for the Allosaurus... Okay. I'm going to go for the Allosaurus. So put that in the holding area. And then we roll... Net, no additional effects. Okay, now it's their turn again. We're going to go first one, D. And nothing in there, so they get A. Oh, you know what? I messed up last time. I forgot to check if they fulfilled any contracts. They did, they fulfilled that one. So we actually throw these all back first. And give them that contract, which is part of their score now. Which they can only fulfill one contract a turn, so that's not too bad. But that's 10 points for them. Um, and then, yes, they get an Allosaurus, because nothing is on that card. And now it's my turn. I'm going to get my second Stegosaurus. 
So we're going to put that in the holding area and roll it. Wound. When you get a wound, you take your rancher and your dino and put them into medical leave, which basically just opens up the space. I'm going to get them back. It doesn't really change that much for me. But uh, yeah, if it was a multiplayer game, that'd make it a lot easier for them. All right. The one you want to get is the pink egg, because that means that you get a second dinosaur for free. All right. Going with this one. A. And since I have a guy at the Allosaur spot, he's going to get to do a Allosaur action, which is three leaf and one supply. So we'll bump the supply up, put the leaf on three. Okay. He's getting a lot of resources, but that's fine. Now it's my turn again. I got a decent amount of dinos. Okay. I'm going to go... I'm going to go for the Velociraptor. And I use my lead rancher so that I have two versus his one. So we get a Velociraptor. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'm going to have to put him in here because you can't put dinos of different species into the same enclosure together. Net. All right, nothing extra. And C. So he goes up there. It's empty, so he gets a Velociraptor. All right, and this doesn't refill until the refresh for next round phase. So, that is everything. We get all of our ranchers back. Get the dino back. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, now we arrange the ranch. I'm gonna drop this here so that I can put, hmm. I'm going to need another Allosaurus, so yeah. We'll put the Velociraptor in his own enclosure. Put this guy in here. And then put the Allosaurus in here. Yes. Yeah, I have plenty of leaf, so I'm going to cover up the leaves. Okay. Ranch is arranged. Now we must feed. So you can do it in any order, but if you can't feed them, they escape. So we have two Stegosaurus. They eat a leaf each. Down two. We have a Velociraptor who eats one meat. And we have the Allosaurus who eats two meat. So that's down to three, getting a little, a little tight, but it should be fine. Okay, so that's all fed. Now we breed these two guys I got, and I can drop this into whatever enclosure I like. I will drop it into the Stegosaurus with his family. And then we refresh. So we get rid of these and draw out some new ones. Ooh, Triceratops. Ooh, that could be worth up to like eight points because it's uh, orthogonally adjacent. <laughs> oh, God, I want that Stardew Valley board game so bad. I, I feel like an idiot for missing it, you know? Um, the I was just like, I, I should wait, make sure it's not an impulse purchase. It'll like sell out in a week or something. Literally three hours. It sold out three hours before I checked it again the next day. Whatever. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to play it in this way at some point. But for now, we got a little dinosaurs. I think that's pretty nice. So, okay, we re replace this. Um, I was saying Triceratops is worth four points. Plus, you get one point for each dinosaur orthogonally ad adjacent. So, to the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. So, you could get up to eight points from that car. That could be pretty sweet. Uh, we scoot the contracts over and replace it. Ah, okay, these mean any of the genetic dinosaurs, the unique dinosaurs. Um, let's see. What am I forgetting? Oh, just move the round marker. All right. Oh, yeah. And let's clean up these cards. All uh, right, so now we do resource collection. I have three meat, which brings me back up to six. My supply is covered, and two of my leaves are covered. Uh, three of my leaves are covered, so I actually get only two, but that's fine. That's about how much I spend. Or no, I'm going to do three because I have... Mm, that could be a problem, but I'll, I'm, I'm going to be on top of it. All right. Okay, I just need 
a steg uh, brachiosaurus. Okay. I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me take these back. And it is still the rival rancher as the first player, so let's shuffle these. And deal them out. If it was more cards, I would do a riffle shuffle, but unfortunately, kind of can only do overhand with eight cards, you know? Okay. We're going to go last one. C. So that's going to cover up. Ugh. Well, okay, that's fine. I th I have a decent amount of barriers. Do I? Oh, no. I'm going to need a couple more. That's fine. I think I should be able to manage. My hands are not worthy of hand modeling. I have so many, like, scars and stuff. This one's from, like, a car... For some reason, Ford has, like, razor-sharp edges on the inside of their trunk, you know, right where you'd, like, move your hand when pulling stuff out of it. So I have a bunch of cuts from that, just, like, cooking burns and stuff. Eh. But I appreciate the sentiment. Um, okay. So we put it there. We get a Velociraptor. All right. And can he fulfill any contracts? No. He only has the two Velociraptors and the one Allosaurus. None of that works for him. So, my turn. Before it gets too expensive, I'm going to spend one supply, and I'm going to go here to get two more barriers. Because I'm going to need them. Then we're going to go first. D. Okay, D isn't too bad for me. And that's, again, Allosaurus. Can't fulfill any contracts with that either. So, okay. I need the Stegosaurus. Yes. The, no, the Brachiosaurus. Stegosaurus is the yellow one. Uh, okay, so I'm getting the Brachiosaurus. And we're rolling. Egg! All right. So that means we can get another Brachiosaurus for free. So we get two. That's very nice. So let's see. Uh, right, Rival Rancher's turn. It is, please not be, A. I can handle A. All right, and since I have a meeple there, that means they will do the Allosaurus action, which is get a... Oh, whoa. Okay, they get a whole Brachiosaurus and the first turn marker if... They didn't already have it, which they do. So that's fine. Final couple turns here. Um, I'm going to go here, which allows me to spend a supply and put one of my guys, yes, into the park. Okay. Okay, yes. So there we go. That means I have everything I need to fulfill this contract. <sighs> no, I don't. Wait. No, I got to fulfill it next turn. That's fine. They don't have any stegosaurus. So actually, I'm going to take that back. And I'm going to... I need another Allosaurus. So, yeah, I'm going to drop two guys down, because he has the one there, to get another Allosaurus. And we're going to roll it. Net. No additional effect. Okay. And D. So he gets his last guy on the D, which means that, because that's there, he's going to get one of each type of supply, and the first player marker, which he already has. So I don't mind. Um, okay. Yes. 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 All right. So retrieve ranchers. Hopefully I did this correctly. Uh, yep. Do, 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 do,
Do, do, do. And then I'm going to flip over the Rival Rancher discard. And we're going to arrange the ranch. So I got to pop that and that. Let's drop my two Brachiosaurus in there. Drop my Allosaurus. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. And then we're going to feed. All right. So Allosaurus each needs two. So that's four plus the one. So that's five I need to spend. Ooh, only one left. Then the three Stegosaurus and the two Brachiosaurus. So that's one, two, three, five, seven. Which brings me down to three. So I did feed everybody. Good, 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 good. I'm going to spend most of them this next turn. So that should be good. Um, okay. Yes. So now we breed the dinosaurs. Um, so yeah, we're going to breed these two guys to get this. And, ooh, a couple are going to escape. That's okay. That's okay. So yeah, we're going to breed these two and these two. So we would get a Stegosaurus and... Uh, a Brachiosaurus, but unfortunately, if you have no enclosure to put them in, they escape, which, uh, if a herbivore escapes, you have to lose a barrier. So I'm going to lose this one. I'm going to throw that out. Okay. That should be fine. So, yeah, we don't get any of those. You only have to take the penalty once. So even though I'm losing two dinosaurs, I'm only taking one penalty. And I didn't lose this, because if I lose one of these guys, they are going to eat one of the other dinosaurs, and I don't want that. But that's it for the breeding steps, so we're going to refresh for next round. We're going to get rid of these guys. We already have enough contracts out. We've got Ankylosaurus, Parasolophus, uh, Parasolophus and the Egg Incubator. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay. So that's all that, and then we move on to round four. And in round four, you get an additional rancher. And then he gets his lead rancher, which means now the rival rancher deals five cards each turn. So let's get that going. Gotta shuffle. I'm just leaning back because, like, leaning forward like this sucks on your back after a while. Ugh. My spine. My spine. Okay. And then we'll deal out all five. Stick the remaining three right there. And then they're gonna go first. So let's let's go with the first one. C. Okay, that's that's not too bad. And that's empty, so they get a Velociraptor. And they can fulfill this contract. So get rid of two Velociraptors and a Brachiosaurus to get that contract. Tuck it right over here with the other one, so they have twenty-two points now. That's not too bad. Now I'm going to drop one of my ranchers right here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do my resource collection. I should have gotten a leaf and a meat. There we go. Um, okay. So then we got that uh, to fulfill contracts. So I'm going to fulfill this contract. I get rid of an Allosaurus and two Stegosaurus to take it. Finished. And then I'm going to do my private contract, which is one of each. And you can only do the private contract if you have first done a public contract in the same action. But there we go. 28 points. Nice. Um, okay. So, we don't do any more of those, but we're going to go with the Rival Rancher B. Right there. 
I'm right there, so it does stegosaurus action, which is two each meat and veg. Then, let's see. Hmm. All right, I got to work on something else next. Uh, you know what? Let's look at the resource cards. So we have Egg Incubator, which lets you pay two supply to add any one regular dinosaur to your holding area. That's a bit expensive. And it's only one point. Not interested. Parasaurolophus eats one, and it allows you to collect two of the resource from the ranch space that the Parasaurolophus is in. So actually, that guy would be great right here, because that would mean two supply each turn while it's covered. Hmm. Then... If you have the first player, the Ankylosaurus, if you have the first player marker, any other player using the action to take it must pay you two meat. That could be good because they're definitely, they're definitely doing that to me. Hmm. I'm. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to do. Paras, uh, Parasaralop. Parasaurolophus. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with that one. So we're going to go with... Hmm. You can either play, pay a dinosaur or pay a meat. Well, I'm going to need those two meat for this dinosaur. So let's, let's pay a dinosaur and I'll get rid of my Brachiosaurus. And then I get to take Parasaurolophus. So then I have to find him in all of the purple dinos. One sec. Oh, good. Okay, he was, like, right there. So that's the guy. They each have a unique shape, the purple ones. So I'm going to put him on the supply. So I get two supply every turn, which will be very nice. All right. Now it's the rival rancher's turn. A. So he's going to put one on A. Nothing there, so he gets another Allosaurus. I'm going to go... Hmm. Well, I don't know what I want to work on next. I guess I could work on this, so... Put... Or, hmm. You know, I need some resources. So let's put it here so we can get a couple of the meat. That'll be my turn. Rival Ranch, C. And they already have a guy there, so they're going to do this, one of each. One of each. Not too bad. I mean, it doesn't take that long, like, to look through all of these. Like, there's... It's a pretty small amount, and they are very small. But yeah, I have spent quite a bit searching through these before, so maybe, maybe. Let's see. They just went. My turn. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What do I want to do next? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know what I want to do next. Oh, I can't, though. I want to do this, but I only have two guys left, and I'd need at least three to put anything on this card. Oh. Crap. Well, you know what? I will do... Well, that costs a supply. Uh... Let's grab a Stegosaurus. And then we roll the die. Wound. So both of these guys and the Stegosaurus go right there. And then the rival rancher gets his last turn. B. There's definitely stuff already on B, so he gets to perform the Velociraptor action. One of each. And he would get the first player marker if he didn't already have it. One moment. Ah, uh, gotta stay hydrated. All right. So, yeah. That's everything. So, I'm gonna take all my ranchers back. And... 
put his back as well. Mm, oh, and the Rebel Rancher cards go back on the deck. All right, now we get to arrange the ranch. So just going to put that guy whoop, right there. And we're going to feed. So it costs one for him, one for him, so two of those. And it costs two of these for the Allosaurus. Not too bad. Then we're going to breed, but nobody there to do it. And we're going to refresh. So get rid of these guys and draw three new ones. Ooh, Spinosaurus, T-Rex, and Dinochirus. Some decent ones. Let's see. Instead of placing a rancher on an action space, you may place it on this card. Oh, yeah, I had this one last game. It basically just lets you double your resources. Whoops. Bump stuff around. T-Rex costs three, or you can feed him one of the other dinos, and you gain one meat. And Spinosaurus... Spinosaurus, you can literally just send a bunch of your guys to medical leave, which is very dark thematically. Um, ooh, we got 665 views. One more. One more! Okay. So, yeah. Oh, and contract scoots over. We get some new ones. Ooh, okay. We got some decent stuff. Oh, I forgot, too. On the fourth round, you also... Draw a new private contract. So, yeah, I want to get some more stegos, looks like. Um, so then we scoot this, and it's time for round five. There's only six rounds total, so we're getting there. All right, I received my resources, so I get five plant. And... To meet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say when I rearrange my ranch that I scoot him there. So we'll go with one more meat and one less plant. Budget a little bit. Oh, and I get, because I get uh, have this guy, I get two of whatever he's on, which is the supply. Very nice. All right, now let's see what the rival ranch is up to. I'm not cheating it. I'm just my back, my back heart. All right. There we go. We'll go with this one sticking up B. Might make things a little difficult for me. That gets him a Dago, which doesn't fulfill anything. Then it's my turn. Hmm. Looks like I'm definitely going to want some more Stego. And yeah, let's just focus on that for now. So going to get one and roll it. Net. Nothing extra. Rival Rancher. C. Whoops, went on the wrong deck. C, so that hits that one. Gets him a Velociraptor. Anything fulfilled? Nope, he needs at least one Brachiosaurus to fulfill that. Ah, uh, and he never gets the unique dinos. Hmm. So I want also an... Yeah, I want one of those blue boo, blue guys. So let's go with that. While it's still cheap. Rolling it. Net. All right. Rebel Rancher. C. He already has a guy there. So he's going to do the blue action, which is one of each. Uh-oh, he's, he's getting up to the max. Still doesn't have any blue, though, so can't fulfill anything. Okay. I'm going to need at least one barrier. So before it gets too expensive. Whoop. Uh, 
yeah. Let's let's spend three. Spend one supply to get two more barriers. And then he goes. D. All those resources are cut off now. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Um, yeah. And that's empty, so he would get another one, but because it's filled up, they get the special breeder action, which is one of each. And oh no! So hit max, which means that he gets max meat. Two velociraptors. One. And then gets it again. It's one of each. And this actually would zero out and give them another one. Oh boy, that sucks. Ah, so they got their their special action twice. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. What am I going to do about this? Well, I can't do much. I can do something over here, so I guess I'll get another dino. What one do I want a lot of? I guess red. So let's go with that. We're going to get one more Allosaurus. I don't know if I can even afford all these guys. This might have been a bad idea. Wound. Oh, boy. Well, it's not going to matter. Ah, because that's the end of that phase anyways. Oh, wait. Not for him, though. A. Does the action, which gets one of each. Ah, he's going to get two Stegos soon. Ooh. All right. It's getting, it's getting pretty tight. It's getting pretty rough. All right, got to pull my guys back. Whoops. There. Pull all of these guys back. There. And... All right, we're going to arrange the ranch. So I am going to do that like this. I give myself a little more space. And, hmm, yeah. I'm gonna go whop, whop, whop. Arranged, all right, now time to feed. Oh boy, I hope I have enough. Um, all right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Just barely enough on the leaves. And we have one, two, three, four. Just barely enough on the meat. Ah, it's getting real tight. I'm getting real rough. Okay, now we breed. So we get one more of this guy. Oh, and before actually I did that. Yeah, I'll say moved him up here because he doesn't have to be in an enclosure. He doesn't run away. So we're going to breed. Twice. Uh, ugh, I really need the meat, so I'm actually going to put him there. All right. And then we're going to refresh. So these are all gone. Goodbye, T-Rex. Another day, another day. And we're going to draw three new ones. We got Gallimimus. I love Gallimimus. Oh, we got two of the best ones. Oh, we got the three best ones. Nice. We got Gallimimus. Who's this doofy chicken-looking dude? If I choose one dinosaur in a space orthogonally adjacent, that dinosaur does not have to be fed, which is good. That's an omnivore. We got Moss Chops, who's a chunky boy. All four sides of his space count as barriers. And Plesiosaurus. Ooh, so he goes in the water, actually. He doesn't have to be even on land. And he may be used as any other species for fulfilling a contract. Those are all really good. I'm going to try and get one on this turn. But, uh, yeah, first and foremost, we're going to have to do all that. We're on the last turn. Oh, boy. All right, and then I get my resources, so I get two meat. And I get one leaf. And then they're still going to go first, because I never took away that first player marker.
All right, the last draw. Here we go. Middle one. D. Empty, so they would get one, but instead they max out. Which gets them two stegos. And then that goes down to zero. Or, well, yeah, zero. Uh, oh, actually, in that case, meat would have been down one, because I always forget zero isn't on the board, it's off the board, and then you move it on when you get one. So he should have been down one more than that. My bad. So, yeah, got that. Let's see. I can do at least one contract right now. But I need... I don't know if it's even worth it. You know what? I said I was going to go for these guys, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, especially with all my resources so depleted. Oh, boy. I think I have to do Plesiosaurus? Mm, no. Maybe... Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'll go with the ones to not be fed. Or wait. Hmm. Let me double check something in the rules real quick. So, hmm. Okay, I formulated a plan. I am going to do this and spend one of my Allosaurus to get Plesiosaurus. Oh, I should have gotten two more leaf. Forgot about his ability. Um, and here we go. There it is. Ha ha! Once again, right on top of it. And he's a water dinosaur. So he doesn't even a place on the land. Wait. He goes in the holding area first. For now. We got C. Crap. That's exactly the one I didn't want him to do. Nope. Actually, this is the one I want. So, okay, that's fine for me. C. It's fine. Uh, would get that, but instead does the action, which in this case is one of each. Oh boy, so that becomes zero, but he gets a red and a blue. Ah, which means he does it again. But he also gets a blue, which means that he can fulfill a contract. And it's leftmost. Oh no! Crap. Oh, that's the one I was going to do. Oh, man. Okay, that's... Ugh, fine. Well, crap. That's really unhelpful for me. That's fine. That's fine. We'll work this out. So, okay. I'm going to do this one, which puts Plesiosaurus out. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> I don't think that's going to work perfectly for me, but okay. Then we're going to do the middle one. A. Crap, that's the last one I wanted him to do. Okay. I'm going to have to hedge my bets because my plans didn't work out correctly. 
So instead, we're going to fulfill a contract right here to fulfill this one, red, blue, and plesiosaur, because he can act as any of them, which means I'm going to lose three points, which sucks, but I got this contract. And unfortunately, despite everything, yeah, I, I, you have to get him into your ranch, so I have no way of doing that now. Crap, I was so close. That's fine. I got, I got at least one more contract, so I'm okay. Then it's his turn, D, which is that, which means he does the blue action, which is one of each. Then it's my turn. I gotta figure out some way. Hold on a sec. No, I was hoping that I could get one of these guys as last ditch effort, but. Well, would I have enough? Um, I need at least six. Six, seven. For that. I could get Galiminus. Get Galimimus. But, hmm, one, two, three, four, that's all of it. Yeah, I could get Galamimus, so we're going to do that. Um, oh, oh no, the only way to do it is, oh no, I would have to spend, I don't have enough. So I can't do that. Crap. Huh. What to do? Hmm. I guess get a Velociraptor. They're cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I'll grab a Velociraptor. And in this case, I do not want to roll good. Don't give me an egg. Wound. Okay, I'll accept the wound. And last card for them, C. So this, they already have one there, so they do the blue action. One of each. Okay. And my last action can only be here. So it can only be that. So I basically have to just pass. Can I pass? Let me double check. Okay, so this sucks. I have to take this one. You are not allowed to skip an action. So, whoops, that sucks. Okay, so in that case, if we're doing that, then I will just take uh, three, or do I want three, and I'm gonna lose one. Um, hmm. I will take Galamimus because I might be able to hang on to him. Okay. So that's that's something, at least that's two points, you know, and I think I can hang on to him. Um, okay. So that's, that's all I can do. So let's take this Velociraptor, put the ranchers away, and let's see there there 
Okay, and put away all the rival rancher pieces. And, yeah, now we can arrange the ranch. So we're going to put our one guy right there. Whew, okay. And then we have to feed the dinosaurs. Um, well, I want to keep the Allosaurus because it's more. So I will spend two to feed the Allosaurus. And I'll flip him up so that I know I did. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to actually grab Gallimimus. Um, he is there, so he needs to go out there. Yeah, he has to be in a different enclosure. Or not even an enclosure at all. You don't have to enclose the unique ones. So, all right, I have no more meat, so I have to feed these guys. I guess I'll feed Gallimimus, and then I'll feed two of the Stegosaurus. And then, yeah, we're going to lose this guy, which loses us a barrier, and we're going to lose this guy which loses us a Stegosaurus. Because they eat him when they escape. So, that sucks, but okay. <laughs> That's all of the feeding. Then we do a breeding. So we get one more Stego. Flip those back down. And then, we would refresh, but there's no need, because it's the end of the game. So that's the end of round six, and we're going to do final scoring. You move this guy off. Whoosh, and the opposite side of the round marker is the scoring pad. I love it. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's score him first so that I can show you me winning, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, yeah. And Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus goes out. Gallimimus stays. This did not get fulfilled, so we're going to throw it out. So, you take two meeples, and you put... One here and one here. So then we go through the contracts first. They got 10, 12, and 13, which is 35. 35. There we go. And then you go through research. They didn't take any research cards the whole game. Whatever. And then we go through dinosaurs. So they got two stegos. That's four points. And then we got... Three Velociraptors, which is nine points. So that brings us up to 48. And then we have three Allosaurus, which is 12 points. So that's two and five. So that's 50 on the nose. All right, 50 points. Can I beat that? I don't know. Let's find out. So contracts first. We got... 11, 17, and 14. In fact, 11, 14, 17, we'll say. So that is 30, uh, 12, 42. Good start. So 42. And we'll toss those out. Then we check research cards, which includes this guy. So that is two points. And... We got dinosaurs, so this is where it comes down to. Do I have enough dinos? Two, four, six. Six points there, which brings me up to there. Oh, we're lined up. And then, yes, I have more. Four more points. 54. Yes, I did it. I won by four points. Really close, but I won. Nice. Yeah, very happy with that. Okay. Uh, how long have I been streaming? About an hour. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I think I'll call it there. I was planning on maybe doing two streams, but this took a little longer than expected. But yeah, this game is a ton of fun. I totally recommend getting it. Uh, I got mine on Kickstarted Games, which is basically a resale site for Kickstarter games where if somebody doesn't want the game they got on Kickstarter, they'll sell it. It's not a scalping thing. They're not, like, jacking up the price. They're actually doing it at very reasonable, sometimes even, like, incredibly cheap prices. I got this for like 26 bucks. 
great price. It's a great game. Tons of awesome little pieces. A little, little meat on the bone, leaf, uh, dinosaurs, baby dinos. Great game. Really love it. I would definitely recommend getting it. So with all of that said, I want to thank you all for joining, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future. If you missed the beginning of this stream or want to check out any of my other streams, check out the past broadcast tab on Twitch here. It has the last 60 days worth of streams. Or check out Icky Kid Twitch Archive, which is a YouTube channel. It's linked down below on the browser version that has all of my past streams since I started almost a year ago. I'm doing my anniversary stream on the 22nd, so hope you'll tune in for that. Uh, if you want to catch any future streams, there's a schedule down below which says what game on what day. I might change what I have for Thursday. I have Root right now, but I think I might I might do something with uh, maybe this again, or I got Mechanica, which has a single-player mode. I don't know. But that's all subject to change is what I'm saying. Uh, you can also see what time, but if you go to the main page and go to the schedule tab, but like I just said, all subject to change. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my streams, you can follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid and turn on notifications. I tweet out every time I go live, except one time when it didn't work. So definitely you should follow. If you click the heart, excuse me, my mouth is very, uh, uh, very dry. <laughs> uh, if you click the heart, it will follow and you can turn on notifications. That is free for you, helps the channel out a great deal. And if you would be so kind, I'd really appreciate you considering subscribing. That one's not free, but there's separate tiers you can go with. And if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can link that to your Twitch account and get Twitch Prime, which gives you one free subscription a month. And if you'd consider giving me that subscription, I'd appreciate it a great deal. So with all of that said, I hope you'll consider all of those things. Thank you very much for inviting me into your home, your computer, your tablet, your laptop, your Roku, Apple TV, your phone, game console, however it is you watch tonight. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you'll join me for my next stream on Thursday at about 7, 8-ish Eastern. Like I said, all subject to change. Follow the Twitter and all that. Um, and hey, if no one else has said this to you, I'll say this to you. You're a good kid. And dinos are awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. I'm actually going to raid us over. So hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere quite yet. I'm going to uh, see who's streaming right now. So let me just switch the AFK screen. Ah. All right. Let me see who's streaming to raid over to Wolfden. Pink Room. Hey, Wolf is streaming. I like Wolf. Hold on. What's his full name here? Wolf Thunder 117. Okay, I'm going to stream y'all over to him one second. All right, let him know I sent you. Go enjoy watching what he's doing. I think it's some Pokemon. He does a lot of that. Thanks, thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye.